Hi! In this video I'll take genuine Tesla Model S battery cells and will make a new battery pack for my homemade 100 watts LED flashlight. You hear me right, those 18650 lithium ion cells are from Tesla Model S. Yes, that Tesla Model S. Our days those cars are quite popular and a lot of people are buying just a battery pack from a salvage car. They are used as they are, for example for electric vehicles, power walls builds, or are taken apart to individual cells for other battery projects, like mine. After cells were disassembled from the original Tesla battery pack, they don't have any external insulation, like the usual 18650 cells, so the first thing is to protect them, to ensure safe cell usage in the future. For a few euros I bought insulator gasket rings and 18650 lithium battery heat shrinkable sleeves. The installation process is more than simple. Just glue insulator ring on top, insert into the shrinkable sleeve and heat it up with a heat gun. Now the cell is protected and could be used without fear of a possible short circuit. I was quite lucky to get those cells from a car with a very low mileage. It means those cells still have a lot of capacity left. Originally brand new those cells have 3200 mAh of capacity and are designed to maximum 7 amps of current. I already tested mine and they all have left 2800 mAh of capacity. To test and charge 18650 cells I use this Opus charger. Now the reason why mine 100 watts LED flashlight needs a new battery pack. Well, the old one, which was built three years ago, from used 18650 cells, just failed. To be more specific, failed one group of cells connected in series. This one. Due to another five groups of cells aren't the best shape too, I decided to build a new battery pack instead of repairing this one. To stack and glue cells together, I made a simple jig. The rest was the matter of applying hot glue and stacking cells regarding the current battery pack cells arrangement. Before starting to connect cells in parallel, I made the last check. Do all cells have the same voltage? Spot welded in the same pattern as the previous battery. Twenty five volts indicates that all was connected properly. To charge and balance the previous battery pack, I was needed to disconnect the battery from the flashlight and connect the main terminal and this balance wire to IMAX B6 charger. That wasn't very user friendly and annoyed me a lot, so I want to change that. As of now, this 6S BMS will be responsible for the charging and balancing function. Glue the piece of insulating paper and glue the BMS in place. Soldered main and BMS balance wires to each cells group connected in series. I decided to keep and use this battery cell meter because it is there already. So I need to solder these balance wires to the new battery too. I reused the same transparent material on the ends of the battery and glued it with the captain tape. I added a battery state of charge indicator at the end of the battery. This meter will be powered simultaneously with the flashlight and will be visible at the end of the flashlight. The last improvement in this build will be this external charging port. Drill the hole for it and starting to assemble everything into the flashlight.
and this is it. My homemade 100 watts LED flashlight was upgraded with a new battery pack made from genuine Tesla Model S cells. This battery is controlled and protected with newly installed BMS. Also, a flashlight got an additional battery meter and an external battery charging port. There is no need to open the real grill, disconnect battery wire and connect it to the IMAX B6 charger. Now battery could be recharged and balanced by connecting to the charging port any 25.2 volts power supply. In case I want to check does the BMS is doing its job right, I could check that with this cell meter. Here was a quick reminder how powerful this thing is. Take a look at this comparison of smartphone LED flashlight and 100 watt LED flashlight. Each time I'm using this flashlight, I'm stoked again and again of that amount of light. I hope this video was helpful. If you are the first time here, please hit that subscribe button for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.